Welcome to Homesteading the Pioneer Way. Today I was going to show you what I was uh, doing. I don't know if um, you are into making everything Pioneer Way like I am. But if you are, what I'm making today is some reusable um, wraps to cover bowls and plates and things like cling wrap or saran wrap or whatever you want to call it but I make them out of cloth I have some large ones here I have some small ones here uh, I've got my tag for my mediums but I haven't cut them yet and I do them with different colors like <clears throat> uh, for vegetables for green beans and stuff like that I do green ones for vegetables like uh, corn and, and potatoes and stuff I'll do a um, either a cream color or yellow. Uh, for beans and peas and stuff, uh, you know, different colors. And for meats and stuff, you do red. So I've got my red ones here. And let me show you. This is the small size. And you just want to cut your material the size that it will go over a small bowl or a saucer, whatever. And so. That's the size that I've cut on my small bowls, saucers, and then here's the large. And I cut this to go over like a 9 by 13. So this is about a 15 by uh, 18 or 20. <clears throat> it's folded, let me see. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. If the bowl is 9 by 13, you want it a couple of inches bigger all the way around. So that's that. And so what I do <coughs> when I get my material cut, then I will take some wax, <coughs> which I've got a big block of wax here. I buy it by the pound. And I will melt my wax slowly over a double boiler. <coughs> and then I'll take a brush and I will brush this on one side and then let it dry and turn it over and brush it on the other side and all you're doing is waxing your material on both sides and then it will be a cling wrap that's reusable you just put it over your bowl and fold it around and it will um, stay tightly around your bowl now you couldn't turn it over, you know, it would spill. I got something on that looks like some lint. Um <clears throat> but it's reusable. You take it off and since it's waxed, you can just if any food gets on it, you can just wipe it off with a damp cloth and reuse it. And after a while it will start getting um brittle and and uh breaking up and stuff. And all you do is lay it on a sheet pan, put it in the oven and heat it gently until the wax starts uh, melting a little bit and you just spread it back out. So they're real easy to make and if you need to add more wax, if it looks like uh, you need more wax, all you have to do is melt some more wax and paint some more wax on. So that's what I'm doing today. Just thought you might be interested in some, some other um, things that I'm making for the homestead. That way I don't have to buy cling wrap or saran wrap or plastic wrap, whatever you want to call it. Just throwing money away when you can just cut up some material and again color code them. I like color coding things and just, you know, something I do. Anyway, that's my reusable um, container wraps, whatever you want to call them. So until next time, this is Homesteading the Pioneer Way saying, keep homesteading.